everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? I mean, I'm doing so good. Hopefully you guys are doing great. Here, take some meat. Oh, I, hope not. I know you're hungry. What are you having for uh, breakfast or uh, lunch or dinner today? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, wh what is your favorite food also? Let me know that in the comment section. I'm going to have a pizza today. I don't even care what you say. It's going to have pepperoni and, and ham and mu mushroom and green peppers or something like that. Extra cheese. I don't know. How are you? I'm doing so good today. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Come with me. I got to show you some stuff. I have some names right now for these beautiful horses. We got them all set up. This is Dusty. This is uh, Deputy Chorizo's horse. I changed my horse's name to Commander Oreo. It just seems fitting. I love Oreos. Double stuffs for the best. And then over here, we got Cat and Spots. It's um, this Jalapeno's horse. Even though I don't think they can ride it. But either way, you know what? It's a good time. Oh, Jalapeno, how's everything? How is life here in the Wild West? I know this guy's hardly doing any work. He wants to go back into the saloon. But so far, you know what? This place hasn't burned down to the ground. Our uh, zombie is still imprisoned. You're doing a great job. <laughs> he always looks at me side eye. Jalapeno, watch this guy. Also, in the last episode, we almost died. That's right. You should check out that video if you haven't already. Uh, we almost uh, died in this ravine. It was an emotional experience, but we survived it. We were so lucky that we fell in one of the few spots that was totally uh, life saving into a little pocket of water. It was fantastic. But you know what? That didn't matter because you know what? That gave us the inspiration to go ahead and build this beautiful spot. This is our little gold rush camp, and it looks so, so cool. Today, I'm super inspired. I'm gonna go inside this gold rush camp, and we're gonna be doing some things in here. So far, all we got is this, right up to this line, but I got some plans. And hey, we're gonna build this up. I'm gonna show you guys how to design this if you wanna make something like this for yourself. And I actually have a little path that was actually suggested by you guys to make a way down to the bottom of the ravine, and I got it kinda chiseled away a little bit. We still gotta do a lot of detailing, but this goes straight over here, and we got a little walkway, a little crossover bridge. And I'm going to do similar to what we did up here. I'm going to do it down here on the side. And this goes all the way around and curves perfectly to the bottom of this ravine. And we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can detail this a little bit. Uh, I don't think we can finish this whole ravine today because it's a big, big old ravine and it's a lot of work. But I'm going to show you guys at least the basics if you guys wanted to detail your own little cave system. We got the Caves and Cliffs update happening any day now, right? Not really. Uh, it's in the summer of uh, this year, but it's going to be a good time. And this is just the start of something you can do and prepare yourself for that day. Also, this ravine is pretty large, and a lot of you in the comment section were suggesting this to connect this water feature that we have over here. This lovely little river, I was considering getting rid of it, but you know what? This is only fitting that we connect this river right here and drop it down into the ravine and have a little bit of a waterfall. And the water continues going down the ravine all the way around and ending back in that point. Totally inspired by this little waterfall we did here in the last episode. So we can make a bigger version of this. Let's go detail some blocks over here. So if you guys want to detail your own caves, the first step that I suggest to do is use a lot of the stones. Clear out most of the blocks you don't think you want to use, like diorite. I might keep some of the granite, that's fine. I want to mix in the dirt. I want to mix in uh, the andesite also. I want to mix in the cobble, but I want to smooth it out and give you a nice little bit of detailing. So one step that I want to do, I already did it, get some of these slabs and create a nice transition so you don't have to jump up blocks. So we got slabs going down all the way around, curving very nicely going all the way down here now the next step i want to do is smooth out the roof or the ceiling a little bit so here it is i smoothed it out just a little bit adding some slabs adding some stairs and it's looking a little bit better now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of texturing so i'm going to come in here in random spots and just add some cobble some cobble stairs also some cobble slabs some cobble walls also to look like stalagmites or stalactites up and down going around here uh, so that's the next step now everything here is taking shape and it's looking pretty awesome now i gotta play ah, no! oh my god um that was close i don't have my shield what am i even doing okay that could have been the end why is there a creeper there everything was pretty lit up everything was pretty lit up okay <laughs> i'm a little scared right now uh, look at this this was pretty lit up come on now Woo! not gonna lie um 
I gotta change my pants. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. I'm never getting rid of the shield. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Uh, so, it's coming along. Everything is coming along nicely. Uh, I just have to do a little bit more lighting, I guess. But right here, I got plans. I want to put... Oh, God. I'm scared now. I want This bad guy's underneath me. I don't know. I gotta take care of that later. Over here, I want to put another nether portal. I want to put a nether portal in here. And this nether portal is not going to be just any nether portal. I'm scared to look around. This is going to be the nether portal that's going to take us to our gold farm in the nether. We could definitely... Definitely see if we can set that up break the roof of the ceiling of the nether so we can have a nice little spot there And I'm thinking on the other side of it. It's gonna look almost like an abandoned mine uh, As well, we can set that up. It's gonna look awesome I don't know if we have time this episode, but just so you guys can know that's coming But in the bottom another thing that I want to do I want to break some blocks right here And I want to replace some of this here with just some of the grass Which is gonna look really nice and overgrown here on the inside Another thing that we could do is break up some of these over here on the walls And I did bring some uh, mossy from back on the island so we can use definitely some of that down here And that just breaks it up easily even more what do you guys think also maybe a little bit of podzo down here why not usually i like putting podzo on the corner bits uh almost like you know, the broken leaves kind of i don't know got down here somehow another thing that i really want to do as well is on the ceiling i want to bring a little bit of bush just a little bit to give you that overgrown feel like you can see like maybe in a lush cave coming up or something in just random spots so that is the plan now let's see if we could do it and make it look nice so far so good i also added a little little bit of glowstone here at the top so we got some lights here coming down but we need a lot more lighting in here especially we don't want what happened uh, to happen again with creepers so another thing we could do well we gotta get rid of the bottom torches but uh we still gotta keep that lighting so little things we could do is just hang um lanterns from these select my select well select my select tights on the top because you got to hang tight from them right yeah there you go but then also we could just add a couple random ones here on the bottom in this little corner though i would like to add maybe some barrels so maybe a couple barrels kind of like that i can get rid of this little bit maybe a chest on top right there we could even add a little bit of gold on this side so it looks like you know we're definitely getting some gold out here we can add the the actual uh wait, there's so many bad guys underneath we can add the ore and also the regular block up here uh we can add even some more chests so just random stuff uh we can add more lighting as well maybe we can hang another one from right there we can put another one on this corner and little bits like that this is how we get the lighting in place so uh it's probably the safest bet now another thing we could do is also add some glowstone on the actual grounds here so you can break it down, throw glowstone on the bottom, and then on the top here, add a little trap door. And that looks perfectly hidden and nice and flat. We could do that around here in certain spots as well. And we got that spot here. We're going to put that nether portal in there. But this is little things you could do it in order to dress this thing up. Now, the next thing we got to do is set up some of these beams right here. So I'm thinking another one would be pretty good on this spot. Usually, I give it like a three spacer, and then I take it all the way up uh, to the top. If we have anything we need to clear, we'll just clear that out and just take it up. Like that. I know we got this bush in the way, but I can go ahead and cover that up. It's totally is fine. Uh, I can get this close. So back. Hold on. Got it. And then let's take this up to the top. And then we'll cross it right. Actually, it doesn't have to be all the way at the top level. But let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks great. And then we could just add some stairs. One on each side. Trap door in the center. Just like that. And then we can mess around with this little part. Add it a little bit more detail. We can even strip it. Not strip it. Uh, it's fine. We can even add a little bit more uh, on the corners. We can even add some barrels to this. But for right now, uh, let's just figure out the placement. So that's one. Uh, I think we could go with one more right about here. I added this a little bit. But I think we can go ahead and just break this off. Take this up to the tippy top. Give it a three spacer and then add one more over here. Yeah, that's a perfect spot for it. Stairs again. Trap door. All right. That's looking good. So we got one here. We got one here. And we got our other one over there. So that's plenty of support that we need in order for this thing not to cave in, right? Now, one of the final bits of detail here, I wanna add a little bit of overgrown over here. Also, I added a uh, more rail. So this rail kind of goes all the way down and it's gonna stop right about here. I would think this will be the loading and unloading station that we can work with. Maybe we can add another bit of detail right there. Uh, I think this might be pretty good. So this is what I got in mind. Now I'm gonna be adding some carts. Put one like over here, kind of unloads on it. Uh, we can add one more on the bottom. I'm thinking like right here would be pretty 
good. Uh, and then maybe one, uh, we can add like an empty one right there. A little bit more overgrown, kind of all the way around here on the side. I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, oh, one more right at the edge right there will look pretty cool. Now to work on this little bridge connection to the other side. And we still got to detail this bit to match what we did on this side and also decorate that hole right there to make it look cool. But for this one, I'm thinking we go a little bit different from this one on the top. Up here with a little bit uh, of a straight line. I want to maybe curve this, just a little bit of a curve to it. Still not sure how to do it, but uh, let's figure it out. So maybe a couple slabs right here. Let's actually go with one on this side, one set over here, just to get an idea. Let's get rid of that dirt. All right, so we got a set here. So let's, let's actually count. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, and another one here. So we got six in between. So probably the best way to do this, let's go ahead and dip this down by two, two on this side. Let's do the same thing over here. So one and two, one and two on this end. And then I think right underneath this one, we could just do something simple like this yeah that's a nice little bit of a dip down I'm thinking we need a little bit more support on each edge here uh let's see how we can accomplish that we'll go with some stairs on the edges like that we could put a stair on the edge right there all right we're gonna have to widen that out a little bit but i think it should be fine so maybe we can extend that to go a little bit higher so we can go two and two two and two here and then how about we just do a couple placeholder blocks and take that down we could actually leave that there, so let's repeat it over here. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now we can just dress it up on the top, get rid of the dirt, and let's see what it looks like. Coming up here, I thought it was a little bit too wide, so I shrunk it now. It really only is just a one wide path to get through, and then we got a three wide total, but I think it looks better, a nice little curve to that. And then coming back over here, yeah, that looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. It doesn't have that big support on the bottom, but I think it's fine right there. It looks pretty good. Now, the next thing we have to do is dress up this section over here, just like we did on the other side, and then work on a way to get that water flowing in here. The path down here, it is pretty complete. We can add even more details, but I think it looks good enough for now. So the next thing we gotta do, uh, we got this all smoothed out. It looks pretty good. Gotta get rid of all these torches down here, but once we fill this up with water, we're not gonna have to worry about any mods spawning on the water itself. I think that's just the right amount of texturing down there. We got some dirt, we got some mossy, we got a little bit of gravel. That looks awesome. Now, we're probably hardly ever going to see it, but at least, you know, we're going to know it's there. But let's open this up, and hopefully it looks pretty awesome going all the way down. Uh, I don't know if it's going to go all the way down to there. Hey, we got a bucket. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. Oh, there it is. Okay, I definitely got to fix this. This looks horrible, but <laughs> at least it's got down there. Oh, it's going to take a bit. Let's, uh, let's fix this mess. I had to block off that waterfall because it was just such a mess, and something's happening. Who's dying and burning alive? I don't know. But I had to block off the waterfall because right down here was looking so awful. Uh, so I blocked it off and I'm starting to work on a little bit of a rapids look over here. Adding some, a uh, little bit of cobblestone, getting the flow correctly because it was looking really, really off. The water was way too high and then adding this down here was a little bit um, difficult. So I like the flow right here and the way that these uh, little bit of cobble bits just break up the, the flowing water. So it's looking good. This is flowing down this way. This is flowing down over here, and then this kind of breaks right off on this end. We add more of these little pop-up bits here, and the flow keeps going down like so, like this. And it gets to this little pooling area here, which I think is okay for now. Uh, another thing that I'm trying to figure out now, because it goes back, it goes down, and then it goes back up. I don't know if I should just knock this down one more bit and just keep it going down this line. And then I'm thinking maybe at the other end, we can have a little bit of a... A secondary waterfall coming from another source that just comes down this way. Uh, I'm not sure. Or maybe this kind of flows off into somewhere. I, I don't know what this is going to lead to. But for right now, this is what I got. And I think it's looking good. But I do think I'm going to actually lower this bit and keep it going. Keeping the, uh, the flowing water on this end. Because I don't know if it'll make sense that it goes down and then back up right in this end. It looks like it might just lo uh, like lose the seam of the flow. Uh, and I don't know if it will go back up. So I'm thinking if we just lower this a little bit and keep the water flowing uh it should be okay i think this is looking really really awesome it's a little dangerous though it's almost nighttime i gotta run but little things we could do is add some bone meal down here to get the seagrass uh, i added a little bit of bush over here as well this kind of leads all the way back here and it curves this way this could lead to some really cool stuff maybe going down into a cavern somewhere so that's going to be pretty cool but we also got to add some lighting over here little things uh as well uh we can add is just putting some gold down here at the bottom. Bottom. 
peppering it in in the inside so if you're going back over here and panning for gold this is where you're going to go down to which is pretty awesome but i also need to light this up just with some of these walls and then drop some lanterns right here uh creepers could definitely fall here so this is something we got to do really really fast to get out of here so something like this adding some lights we can also add some beams here and hang some lights down which is it's gonna look pretty awesome but stuff like this ultra detailing coming back in here and giving it some really nice looks like that but we got to definitely get rid of all those torches deputy uh we have a couple other uh bad guys hello deputy chorizo i think one of your relatives the bad kind are out here uh oh um where's the banner guy okay i just don't as long as the banner guy's not there you know what we could keep a couple hostage well not host we could get a couple into the jail cell and uh, pacify them later uh, hold on a second. Let me ask Deputy Chorizo if he's down for something like that. Deputy, uh, we got some bad guys. Um, it looks like your relatives. I think we might be able to recruit them. Let's see what we can do. Let me uh, open the jail cell. I'll be right back. Uh, if I need your help, I'll call you. Let's see if I can bring them down. Hello, uh, friends. Ooh. Hi, would you mind coming with me? I got something to show you. It's very important. I got one of your relatives over here. It's probably like your third or fourth cousin or something. Uh, he's Deputy Chorizo. Have you met him before? Oh, God. No? You haven't met him? Okay. You didn't like him at the Christmas parties back in the day? It's fine. Uh, he's, he's all right. He's a little weird, but uh, you know what? I love him. Oh, hi. Come on down. Come on down. Uh, come on right in here. Let me show you something. It's very important that you come in here. Let's go. Oh, come on in. Come on in. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. Deputy, get out of there! Oh, uh, why is your hands up? Deputy, why is your hands up? Why is his hands up? Why is your hands up? Are you giving up? Okay, it's fine. Come on in. Come on in. Right in here. Come on down. Why is Deputy Jesus hands up? Come on in here. This is gonna be your spot over here. Uh oh, oh, he dead. It's fine. Get on in there. Get on in there. Get, go, 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 go. That's how you do it. Why is your hands up? Actually, I don't have another jail uh cell for you. You're just gonna have to go. Would you like me to show you my brand new ravine river? Come on down. The rapids are beautiful. You can go on down there. I mean, uh, I just wanted to show you my ravine. <laughs> That's awesome. At least I got one of them in jail. We can pacify him later and add him to the to the family. Got a name tag him though. Oh, before it gets dark, hold on. Let's break this off right here and let's see how awesome this looks. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, yeah, that flows. Love that flows perfect. It doesn't mess with anything. Yep. That's a beautiful waterfall. I still got to do a lot of stuff on the outside part. But for right now, oh, man, it's part of Canyon. You're going to keep your hands up for the rest of the... Now, I did get the nether portal all set up on the inside. I'm going to need some fire resistance potions just in case we were to burn alive. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, what's up, my friend? Are you uh, still hanging out in here? Uh, I'll build you something to hang out in later. Oh, you know what? I think I took all my fire resistance potions away um to our ship uh let's make some more i'm a professional at this now potion professional now let's go check this out hopefully we're in a good spot over here so let's light it up there it is oh i love a little hidden nether portal inside a cave and uh, i think we're pretty lit up here no bad guys should spawn we should be okay let's take a look hopefully we're in a good place on the other side oh right outside oh i forgot gold I forgot gold. 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 I'm fine. Oh no. I forgot gold. I'm out. Peace. Oh, <laughs> that was scary. I forgot gold. All right. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. Um, I'll just take the aesthetic gold. Come here, aesthetic gold. Up. Um, I need you for a second. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, thank goodness for aesthetic gold. Let's just uh do this. Actually, you got booties right here. Oh, but no. I rather I rather do my helmet. Let's do the helmet. Helmet better. I do need that feather falling. All right, let's try this again, shall we? I think we're pretty safe over here. Uh, oh, that's a big drop, but we're fine. We are literally exactly where I was when I got attacked the first time, and I had the huge jump scare, and there are some brutes over there looking mighty mean. Headphone warning, just in case if any of these guys try to murder me. Uh, we did have a uh, an incident a couple episodes back, but this is not too far, actually. We can actually set up a portal here and a connection to the other side so we can be get back home quicker if we don't have to go... Uh, through the uh, the waterways, right? But this is pretty good. This is actually close by. I do want to get to the nether ceiling, though. Uh, there's where all the loveliness happens to make that gold farm. Oh, man, I really want to check those chests, though. What are the odds that we survive that? Don't know. I don't even know if I want to risk that. If I start shooting them, taking them out, 
Would any of the other guys notice around here? I don't see anybody else. What if I make a little bit of a pillar? Oh, here I go. I'm going to try it. I really want to see what's inside those chests. Okay, wish me luck. This is going to be probably a bad situation. But I think we'll be fine. Let's do a little bit of a pillar right here. A little bit of a surrounding pillar. Uh, I think we'll be good. And then something like that. If any gas come, I think we'll be in trouble. But you know what? I think we'll be fine. Let's get these stupid brutes. Come here, bro. Ooh. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? I got them. I got them. They're coming. I got them. They're coming. I got them and they're coming. Oh, no. There's a guy. I see him. I see him under me. Come here, bro. Oh, they're under me now. I think we'll be all right. Let's just not, not knock down the ones underneath me. All right, I got this. Come here. Get out. You don't match for me. Look at that. Smart. Now, I really want to check out those chests. Um, uh, let's leave that here just in case we need to do another pillar job. Let's put this on us here. You know what? I'm just going to take this just in case anything happens. Uh, better safe than sorry. So, quick get away that way and we just pillar up. Hold on. Let me get rid of these fart bubbles. Fart bubbles gone. Okay. All right. Oh, look at all these chests. I never came down here. Oh, that's a brute. That's another brute. All right, I'm going to look fast, and then I'm going to run this way. Is this deadly? Hold on. Let's see if we can make a quick getaway. Boom. Okay, we're running, and we go up there, we pillar. Okay. All right. We're going to check, and we're going to check fast. I've never had pig step ever. I need it. Please. One, two. Hold on. Let's block this. I don't even think that's a thing. Okay, that's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Soul speed. Nothing. Pig step. No. I just break. We're safe. I'm just gonna break it and go. Break it and go. Break it and go. Run! Run, Sausage! Run! Are we good? Okay. We're good. Got a lot of junk, though. Let's assess the situation. We got a little bit of gold. We already had that. We got some spectral arrows. We got some gilded black. So we got one each of the three. Some bone blocks, baby. Uh, crying obsidian. Some of that. Some chains. That's good. I'm gonna get probably hit in the back right now. That's pretty decent. I saw speed three. We gotta add those to the air sausages. Oh, uh, that's good. And you know what? I can trade these with my friends over here. You know what? I really want to check the next one. Let's go real, really quick. Real fast and check the next one. I know I'm being a little greedy right now, but I just want to see what's over here. Um, I don't have those pillar blocks. Hold on. Let me get some more dirt. It's very, very important. All right, let's check this out. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm already here. Let's check these other chests. We still don't have pig step. Please. Okay, headphone warning in case either one, I get... Um, Almost murdered, or two, I see pig step, and I scream. I holler like a, like a, like a Disney princess. All right. Ah! What's happening? What did I get hit from? What did I get hit from? I'm not looking back. What did I get hit from? Who hit me? I did get smacked. Who smacked me? How and when? I felt a smack, okay? I'm not going crazy. I did feel someone smack me on the behind. Was it this guy? Um... It's a lot of zombies, though. There wasn't anything else here, right? Who smacked me? Ah! Run! There's an invisible mob. I'm not going. There's something invisible there, and it smacked me twice. I'm not going over there. There's a haunted mansion over there. Uh, is, uh, that thing is haunted. I think there's something underneath me. I think there's something underneath me. There's an invisible person under me. Who are you? There was a freaking brute after me. I could have died. He was invisible. What is happening right now? Please, stop it. See, I couldn't die from this guy. He hit me twice. Imagine if I died from an invisible mob. Get out, sir. Now, I really want to check that again. But you know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want another invisible mob to come after me. That was scary, man. I did log out and log back in, so I think we might be safe. Okay, I don't see any brutes on this side. There's regular boys over there. They might hurt me. Let me just look and run. Look and run. Pig step. Pig step. No pig step. No pig step. I'm so disappointed. I'm just gonna take everything. Run! Hey, zombie boy! I didn't see any ancient debris either. Yes, I did. I lied. <laughs> we got two ancient debris! Okay, this is really the most important things right there. And that is enough 
so we can upgrade one more thing when we get back home. Oh, I'm so happy right now. All right, let's get out of here. Now, before we get out of here, this is the last little bit of detail that I added over here to the edge of this ravine, just in case. I don't want to fall down or have an accident, so it looks really, really cool. Uh, I think I also want to continue it more this way, but I'm thinking also about adding another bridge over here on this side so we can get over to this edge. And I'm thinking about putting some really cool builds over here. We still got to terraform this whole river, connect it also to the back over there because it's definitely not connected to the outside edge. And I think it stops over here too, so we got to connect those rivers. But I think we can make that into some kind of a stream project. Definitely need to detail more of these walls, maybe even add a couple other passageways that goes into little secret areas down here. That'll be kind of cool. But that is it. That is all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I had so much fun building up this bottom of the ravine, adding all the details inside the cave. And you know what? Maybe next episode we hit up that nether ceiling and do that gold farm so we can have even more gold and maybe even set up that piglin bartering system so we can get all of the loot. Let me know what you guys want to see though in the next episode. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.